Hello UiPath experts, welcome to the UiPath.learner channels. Thanks for subscribing to UiPath.learner channel. So today we will see that about the data. Is it a tiny code? This is a tiny code. So what we can do is just uh, suppose uh, uh, message box. <coughs> How can we display the today's date? Now just okay. Now just type the now. So it will display that uh, today's current date and time so but uh, suppose for example if I have a date okay a J date something like that okay that is in the string format okay so zero raise zero five month 15 two zero two zero okay so if I just use that uh, J date Okay, uh, this will just show that uh, what is the date now, what is the date it is there in the particular data type, but that data type is a string, it is not date, it is not date, okay. So can I use the functions like a add date, these things are not, add day, add months, no. So normally now that is a data time, data time, there is a lot of methods, you can add the date, add the time, add the month and add the year, subtract the values, okay. There's a lot of functions you can just do. So what about the cubicle? Just see this cubicle uh, symbol that is called method. So this is a span symbol is there, a spanner symbol is there, right? The spanner symbol is a value, just value. So you can just uh, today's, uh, so what is the day? So now dot day means it's a, it will give the today's uh, day, okay? So like that, so 15 is a day today, okay? The day, day uh, M MTD, month to date kind of thing, okay? So these m functions and all, uh, we can't apply for the J date because the J date is a, see, day. There's no day. So if I just type this day, there's no day because this J date is a string format. It's not date time. Okay, how can we convert? Here, C date is a method. C date, J day dot add days. Everything is coming now, right? So you have to convert one data type to another data type. Okay, the conversion from one 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 type to another type. So now you can add. So, so now these things are all 15. It is coming from the J day date only. So whether you can use a C date or convert dot to date time. Okay. So and uh, once you convert, you can add, able to uh, do the all the functions uh, months. Uh, if I want to add uh, minus four months or minus eight months you can you can minus means it will go back to the previous uh, things actually okay the super in interesting thing here is so you are able to convert this date everything is working fine so what happened if the date is not in the correct format actually so by default if, if the string is the string contains the uh, mm dd yy there is no problem what happened if i put like this zero four okay or may okay this is a my date format it is in the string format but i want to convert that into the date time and do the some operations okay so what happened we'll see okay. see what happened this is a 0 9 15 okay 0 and 15 so let us try to convert uh, uh, dot day is a 15 is coming okay uh, suppose if you use a C date fifteen is coming right perfectly coming okay now this is a 15, day is a 15 is coming, okay. Suppose for example, if I just use that uh, like this, so year are 0, 09 hyphen uh, 29, okay, something like this, let's try, 29 is a day is coming, perfect, okay.
okay so september would happen if you just type the september it is saying that this september is uh, to type uh, date is not valid so sometimes uh, you will get that uh, this type of uh, uh, error the conversion conversion from string this to type date is not valid so oh, how can we resolve this this type of things okay sometimes uh, if that contains suppose for example you see here uh, 29th september this is the date just imagine this is the date that that has a different format but that is a date so now it is a uh, able to identify Suppose this is a date. It's not able to identify. So in the same way, so what we can do instead of uh, or just uh, hard code this value, we can get the date from the. Suppose for example here, just see here, there is a some closing date is there. This closing date is not like a MMDDYY. It is a DDMMYY. Let's try to uh, get that text. Any text. This one. And just J date. The J date is a string, so it will store into the string. So let us try to use that J date C date. See, it is showing the exception because so what it is saying that so this 31 uh, 5 2020 is not a date format because it is looking for the 05 31 2020. So because it's it's uh, always looking for the MMDD. Uh, yy so but it is a dd mm yy so how can we deal this kind of uh, things where 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 um, the string contains the date format in the, in the different format but th that is the date only but uh, this is not recognizing so to convert that uh, string to the date time so what we can do so we have a method called uh, uh, date time dot parse extract so in the brackets, so you have to mention like a, so what is the date value? So there's a J date, right? J date. And after that, in the double quotes, so you have to mention, so what is the format uh, that date date has? The format is like a uh, DD, MM, YY, okay? The format is like a DD, DD slash, MM slash, YY, YY, okay? So this is a format. After that, so there is a some other parameter called there is a provider is there so we will just create a provider that is a, a culture info so you have a globalization uh, culture info just search there is a system dot globalization dot culture info create that culture info object so that is a by default in the default section culture info dot invariant culture so this is what your the syntax is so you have to create a some provider any any object that is a culture info the culture info dot invariant culture so here you have to provide that object so this object okay this provider copy this provider and give here okay give here now if we run the culture this will convert into the date time okay see it is converted into the date time so actual value is a uh, uh, this one 31 5 2, 2 20 but uh, normal using the c date or uh, convert the two date time we are not able to convert because it is not a proper format so as it is a string so so how can we do deal that such kind of things so we can use that uh, date time but parse extract uh, uh, exact parse exact exactly you can just uh, parse like that okay so we'll just uh, imagine here uh, So today is a Friday and uh, 15 and uh, May 2020, right? So suppose this is just remove this uh, value, okay? So use the same day time. Let's run. So it is like a string was not recognized as a valid date time. String was not recognized as a valid date time. Why? Why? Because you see, 
this is a sometimes uh, errors like uh, coming like a string was not recognized as a date format, a string is an invalid format, this and so on. So we have to provide, so the J date is a providing, so what type of format it is, the exact format we have to mention here. So what is exact format? The exact format is like a uh, DDDD, four DDs, space, DD, space, MMM, space, YYYY. So this format we have to mention. So what format the input string has the date time. So now we will see perfectly it is working, right? So that is a uh, uh, so some sometimes uh, so while you are getting the data of uh, date date uh, uh, different format from the mail or website or anything. So you can just uh, use this kind of uh, uh, date time dot parse exact. So the first variable is a date uh, variable. That is a string variable where the date is there and the next variable is a format we have to mention so what format it is there okay next one is a provider provider is one of objects culture info and culture info dot invariant uh, culture okay that is a thing just try it out so the, what you can try so just try to um, extract the data from this one so this is a url you extract the data, data from this one by using the data scrapping and uh, so take this date create this date so suppose for example this is a 2020 right so what you have to do is you have to create a folder so take your one folder like this so you have to create a folder uh, of uh, uh, year oh sorry year inside the year so you have to create a month a month right so the month is like a may okay so you have to create a month like this and create a uh, date within that just create one text file uh, text file oh it's not text file. this is one small exercise we can do for my dear subscribers okay. you can just copy this one this is a small exercise you have to do uh, so the bot has to do it's not manually i'm showing the bot has to do so bot has to loop each and every line from this data table after data scrapping, so the bot has to create a folder. So based on this date, this date is not normally you can't convert. So using the C date or convert dot to date time, you can't convert. So you have to use this uh, date and like the parse exact method. Okay, so so just take this one. So create a month for a year folder, and after that, uh, what is that? Next one is a month folder. Month is a month name. The actual this month is a number, but you have to mention the month name within that the date number and the folder so okay yes, thanks for subscribe please share so please support okay so let's comment thank you very much for bye